in my life recently escaped from the local animal shelter. She is one big kitty. Hashtag my cat. This is Alley Cat. Ladies and gentlemen, top shelf Troy Nelson here with. What are you, what are you now, the retro sexual Anthony yeah, Green? It, it is a pop quiz hot shot. It's retro sexual now. Mm, sorry. Can't keep track. It changes so frequently. We have ourselves a fatal four away. Four of the most talented women to ever step foot in a limitless wrestling ring Alley Cat, Chris Statlander, Penelope Ford, and Ashley Vox. Go out on a limb, AG. Pick me a winner. So I think it's going to be. I don't know. I, I love her look. I'm going to have to go with the bad girl, Penelope Ford. Bad she's, girl. She's got the great glasses. She's got the satin jacket. Don't see any of that right now. No glasses, no jacket. Anyways, I think there's a lot of talented competitors in there. Alley Cat, however, since her debut, she has hit the Limitless Wrestling Beyond Wrestling joint taping. Impressed there. Debuted this past January in the six-person tag. One of her partners in there, Chris Statlander. Actually, Vox in there as well. No strangers. And oh my. Oh, my pick to win just got kicked right in the face. I will have to just add a side note. Chris Statlander and uh, Alley Cat both got booked on the spot yes. after their match against each other. Very talented Not women. Wait a minute. Something's going on in the cosmos here. What is this? Oh, get out of oh, here. That was extraterrestrial. Well, I gotta learn how to do that. I would say the honeymoon's over between that six person tag team. Shoulder black to no avail. Sicky James ain't going down that easy. There's one thick kitty. Meow. Hashtag meow. Alley cat. Flexing on what she's got. Chris Statlander off the ropes. Off comes Alley Cat. Oh, he gets tackle. her with a tackle of her own. Oh, cat scratch fever. Oh, that was a good one. Good right, song on too. the fly. Hey, big send time by Alley Cat on the cover. Two. Kevin Quinn says two. I'm going to do my best to focus on what is going on on the floor right now between Ashley Vox and Penelope Ford, as you will probably continue to talk about what's going on in the ring. So, say if you can call him how you see him, it's hard to see. We've got. It's got to be in the ballpark of 500 here tonight, Anthony Green. Yes, close there's, to 500. There's so if, many if bodies. Not, if not a little more than 500 people here in the Westbrook Armory in beautiful Westbrook, Maine, the Pine City or uh, Pine Tree Party City. Scenic, scenic Maine. Chris Statlander with a block. Oh! Right up to Owen. Oh, Penelope Ford just crumbling there. And Statlander's calling for it. Looks like Statlander might take to the sky. Take to the cosmos. How possible that's going to be with her there. Oh. Catches her downstairs. Alley Cat. Yeah. Face first with that apron. As, the, as we all know, the apron, uh, the uh, least uh, least padded part of the ring. I'd like to call it the hardest part of the ring, Anthony Green. Good enough. Oh, what oh, is it? A fish oh, hook. She got her. That's a real catch right there. Oh, she's got her hooked on a feeling, Tapping if you out. know what I mean. That was not a tap. Like she was reaching. What is this? More alien stuff. Wait a minute. Can you imagine how much power it takes to do that? She's got to be exhausted after using all of that. All that mind power. Cosmos mind power, exactly. Oh. Big bad booty caddy. Big bad booty caddy. Booty caddy, yes. What is she? Ford trying to get Getting that. some momentum here. Oh, she is. Oh. oh, chin lock. That is a picture perfect. A chin lock. A bit of a headlock there. Shades of uh, the first ever triple threat uh, matchup in ECW. Yes. Or the most famous. I, the, I shouldn't night, say it's the first. The night that the line, line was, was crossed. crossed. Correct. Shane Douglas, Terry Funk, and the franchise. And as I say, Ashley Vox certainly getting the worst of it there. But also the first to get to the ropes, so the smartest competitor. Yeah, what toll is it taking? Alley Cat feeling the effect of that headlock. Pass her through the ropes. Outside again. Statlander. 
Blitzville. I remember Dale before it has one heck of a split. Oh, beautiful job. You ever seen my split, Anthony Green? I have, it's incredible. Yes. You almost beat me in a dance contest. Oh, I'd rather not talk about that. Ashley Box! Low pay. Beautiful. Low suicide dive. I called it a low pay. Is that not enough? All right. I'm creative there. Box, very much getting the support from this crowd here in Westbrook. Kevin Quinn trying to call her back in. 500 plus behind Ashley Box. Suez, oh, cut short by Penelope Ford. Oh. Penelope Ford catches her. Big kick to the side of the face. Taking her time now, though, getting back in there. Got to stay on the offensive here. It's first ball wins it. This is not elimination, Anthony Green. One mistake, you're either getting pinned or you're missing the opportunity to make the pin. Uh, big clothesline, nope. Oh! Snap German suplex into the corner. Upsy Daisy. Handspring. Whoa. Catches over the handspring elbow. Beautiful. Penelope Ford off those ropes. Oh. Catches her with a crusher. Out of nowhere. Only two. Very quick two count. Broken up by Christian Stratlander. Is that Chris Stratland? Chris, Chris, Kristen? Stratlander. Sorry, Kristen Stratlander. Coming to us, Creative Pro Academy, Pat Buck, Kurt Hawkins. Yes. Uh, the first female graduate of the school. Just recently I saw that, getting the official pass from Pat Buck. Brian Myers, Kurt Hawkins. To the buckle goes Vox. He's able to block it, it looks like. I, say, I don't think they realize it, though. Statlander in. Playing possum. Got the head. Oh, right first. in the second. Face first. Oh, wait, is he there? Because the alley cat catches her. Release oh. German suplex. Looks like it was on that left shoulder of Ashley Vox. Backcracker to Alley Cat. All four women are out. Like I said, Anthony Green, first big mistake is gonna, that's gonna be the match. First ball wins it. And we have all four women out. If the referee counts them all out, then they, they, all, they all miss an opportunity. Absolutely. It would be a no contest. I say, so many talented women here. It looks like both girls picked a partner to decide to beat the crap out of. Soon to be returning to the ring, we'll be seeing Skyler. She'll be returning to us soon. Hot scoop Skyler. Oh, that was almost awesome. the matriarch of the women's division in Limitless. Double duck. Ducking those super kicks. Oh. Yeah, clotheslines, four of them all around. Oh. oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Three eye pokes from Penelope Ford. Chops being dished out. Again, the smartest person in the match in my pick to win it. Oh. Watch that one, did Chris. The aliens, that oh, one. Back chop. Up top. Full Nelson position. Oh! oh! That wasn't just one hit, that was two Anthony Green. That was three technically. You count your own. Alley Cat now. On the exposed you know turnbuckle. Exposed turnbuckle there. You know, Kevin Quinn's got to get on that. It's like we're clairvoyant or something. Mm. Not quite as clairvoyant as Chris the Alien Sally. Very true. Oh. This is a precarious position. Very scary. These three me. women. What? Oh, my Lance houses. Oh, oh. Alley cat to the floor. Oh. Face first goes Penelope Ford. Just ate her lunch. Did you learn that one from Bear Country? Beautiful Friends back in New York. Kick. Oh, catches her. The box there on the pin there. Ashley Box gets her.
States of America, isn't that right? Maxwell Jacob Feinstein, he let Sammy Callahan know on at least 10 occasions that he is better than him. He will tell anyone within earshot that he is better than them and that they know it. And right now, he is on the outside and he is on the run from Sammy Callahan, the worldwide desperado. Big shoulder tackle there, he takes down Sammy Callahan. I'm kind of surprised to see that right off the bat. Usually it's something cheap from uh, Maxwell Jacob Feinstein. Yeah, but the shoulder tackle rendered ineffective as he took way too long informing the crowd of his greatness. What does he think he has on, like the LOD shoulder pads? He just give him one shoulder tackle and a bicycle kick right to the mouth. He told me he was gonna kick him in the face. He did, he guaranteed some boots to faces and my God, he delivered within 10 seconds of the opening bell. Oh, massive chop on the outside, brought him right out to the audience here. See, Sammy Callahan, he has no, been known over the years for having some of the most blistering chops in all of professional wrestling. And this... And down on the apron! Good Lord! Right on the apron! Jesus! Come on, Sammy! Sammy Callahan just soaking in the adulation of the fans. Now, let me tell you something. I... Now, uh, what a... <laughs> He's such a scumbag. You know, I really don't like anything about him. No, there's nothing likable about him. Oh, right in the face! Throws, throws a full water bottle, and now that is that is much worse than the water bottles that explode everywhere because there is no give of that water. He's, he's, he's trying, trying to drink he it. He froze that before he brought it out here to smash right in his face. Oh, massive form right Good on Lord. the throat. What's he setting up here? Yeah, we've we've seen this before. Sammy Callahan's going to build a full steam of momentum as he goes around the entire length of the ring. I think he just ate his own spit, which is kind of gross. Oh, pulling the ref in front of you. Friedman hiding behind the referee. Two minutes oh. into this match, he has to use the referee. This is unbelievable. I mean, when I cheated, at least I cheated when I needed to. He cheats because he wants to. And here comes... No, 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 just mocking... His Sam own maneuver. Boop to the face! Knocks his jaw clean off. Oh, Not God. Again. That same apron. Apron. Good lord. Now, I was trying to say earlier, this ring, frankly, sucks. 
and the apron itself is completely exposed of, of plyboard wood. It's almost like there's nothing on top of that wood to save you. <laughs> it's not almost like that. It is like that. Absolutely. It is absolutely we devastating. Another one. No, no, no. This has got to be over. This has got to be over. This is. It has to be over. If he gets it, no. He's just going to go for the count out. The spine of Friedman is shattered. I know earlier I said Feinstein. I was wrong. I don't really care. Friedman? He's a piece of garbage. It is Friedman. My speech says He Friedman. changed his name because he's selfish. I think you threw me off. We'll call him MJF from here on. MJF it is. How is he still moving his legs? Yeah, the, the, the legs are moving, but, but Lord knows oh, what kind of toll. To look at him. Yeah. Look at this. Unbelievable. He's trying to buy himself some time. Don't fall for it, Sammy. Yeah, listen. Begging and pleading on his hands, on his knees. Begging the people to have a heart. Sammy Callahan passing judgment. Like he said again. Thumbs down from Sammy Callahan. That is one thing. Picks him up, slips the suplex. Did he? I think he. Now, we, we can't really trust him. Did he take out his knee? Did he blow it out? I, I, for one, do not trust him. He's a dirty, filthy, rotten liar. The, re the referee, unfortunately, obligated. Uh, I mean, as much as I really dislike uh, Malcolm Jackson, Malcolm Jacob Friedman, I, I didn't want to screw up his last Maxwell? name. Maxwell? Ma Malcolm. Maxwell. <laughs> Jeez. You know, this is not something you want to see. I, I'd say I'm about a coin toss I right now. His name that many times. I, I know who he is. I've seen him wrestle. I'd say it's about a coin toss in my head right now as to whether or not this is a, a clever ploy by Friedman. Max myself. I, I don't want to say Max. It's my full name too. So. Yeah. Obviously, you never want to see anybody. Never want to see anybody legitimately injured. You know, this is not really a nice way to start off. Uh, nothing gold can stay here tonight. It's just. You don't want to see this happen. And you can even see it on the face of Sammy Callahan. As much as he didn't like him at the beginning of the match, you don't want to see this as someone as young, you know, trained at the same school that uh, used to be a trainer at. This is kind of, you know, the fans really want to see it. I'm sure there's dozens upon dozens of people who came just for this match. Oh, what a scumbag! What a scumbag! This is unbelievable! Maxwell Jacob Friedman is a scumbag. Son of a bitch. Might as well spit in the face of every single person in the crowd tonight. Dunneman, have you had the, uh, well, displeasure of wrestling Maxwell? Not in a singles match. Uh, we, we recently had a, a six-man ladder match that we were both involved in last weekend. Six-man ladder match last weekend, and you're both here tonight. We are, we are both here tonight. You are uh, both he, better men than me. He is... Uh, oh, a giant chop. He's obviously willing to take any shortcut in the book. I mean, he's a real dastardly son of a bitch. Sammy Callahan is not staying down easy, no matter what cheap shots or what sneak attacks. I mean... Not... Not to be lost in this, this, this clever ruse, this ploy, which was obviously preconceived by MJF, is the fact that he has very effectively attacked the left arm of Sammy Callahan. I'm not sure if it's the shoulder, I'm not sure if it's the elbow joint, the wrist, the fingers, but some sort of high impact move on the ropes when he was in the middle of this ploy has totally taken the left arm out of the equation for Callahan. You know, I think that really leads into... Oh! There we go, a little divorce call, using the knees on the arm. Once again, just focusing on that arm. If he goes for the stretch muffler, which I know that he usually uses that stretch muffler, he can't link his hands. If he can't link his hands, he can't win the match with the stretch muffler. That's correct, a very effective move used by Sammy Callahan over the Stepping years. The fingers as well. I'm sorry to cut you off, but this is so sickening. Yeah, that, that can be just as devastating as any hold. I mean, uh, everyone here, everyone listening at home knows exactly what it feels like to have your fingers accidentally crushed. And when someone's doing it intentionally, it's, it's that much worse. Friedman staying right on that arm, continuing the pressure, the leverage. He has perfect 
ring positioning right now. Perhaps if he could get Callahan a little bit closer to the center of the ring, then he would have Callahan in a submitting type position. He's even driving Sammy's face into the mat, just just smearing it into the, you get a little bit of mat burn on your eyes, something like that, it really affects you. Kind of being a scumbag with every single movement he makes. This crowd firmly behind the worldwide desperado Callahan. To see if he can use that momentum in his favor. Yeah, right back to the arm. Friedman knows exactly what he's doing. Do you he, think I'm going to get a, uh, like a letter from his uh, lawyers? I'm sure he has a team or a fleet of lawyers. Is, is he a lawyer himself, he, perhaps? He may be, but I think that's a little bit racist of you. Um, <laughs> no, not a race. <laughs> but <laughs> I said his name wrong about six times. And I know I'm going to get a letter, and I'm terrified about that. <laughs> I don't have any money because I was a pro wrestler too. What What would he sue you for? Defamation of character, perhaps? Absolutely, absolutely. He's and I'm calling him a scumbag. Sammy Callahan, Sammy Callahan lying in oh, wait. I could God. kind of see it there, waiting for Maxwell to make a rookie move. Well, a young shot. I don't want to call him a rookie with all those belts around his waist. Sammy just laying into him with those rights, not using the left at all. If you can note that. Wow. Drives him down again. God, right on that shoulder. It's just one move, just takes him right back out of the game. Friedman is cold, he's calculating, but that's the key part of it, is calculating. He knows exactly what he's doing. He came into this match with a game plan, a devious game plan, but a game plan, and he is executing it to precision on the left arm of Sammy Callahan. Coming into the corner, oh, kicked him right in the leg. A little bit of a cannonball, not on purpose. Driving Freeman right into that corner. Can yeah, Sammy retaliate though? Can he mount some offense? Can he get back in the game? Or is he going to lose to Maxwell, whom he asked for the match against? And drive, face wash right in the corner. God, these aggressive boots. He builds up so, moment so much momentum coming off the ropes and then just stabs you right in the face with those right kicks. And another bicycle face wash. That one to the back of the head, almost to the ear. God, that'll take your head clean off. Dislocate your neck, perhaps. Freeman has no idea where he is. Got him in a little bit of exploder, but Freeman fighting out. Point of the elbow right to the spine. Back to that left arm. He's going to try to drive him down. So then, here we go. Oh! God, right on his head. Exploder. Here we go. One, two, and... Kind of surprising there. He went down at a hard angle on his neck. Yeah, devastating maneuver by Callahan, but, but let's not forget that Friedman has been in control of this match, dishing out punishment for the last five, six, seven minutes, so it's going to take a lot more than that. Sammy Callahan's going to need to string together offense if he wants to pin or submit Friedman. Sammy setting up for something. Favoring that left arm, but winding up the right. Going for a lariat. Oh, he made a mistake there. He went with a left lariat. And a super kick right to that elbow. That injured arm drives him down. Looking for the, the kill shot here. Knee oh. right on the point of the jaw. That's it. it. Sammy Callahan kicks out again. Very resilient on the part of Callahan. Very impressive. This man will not go down without a fight. This shows you the heart of Sammy Callahan. He's been around the world and he's wrestled a lot of the best, if not all of the best. It's going to take a lot to put him down, but that knee right on the point of the jaw could have done it. Sammy's not moving a lot. Yeah, it did. It didn't. It didn't take Callahan out of the match, but he is in a prone. Pro position, forgot his own uh, initials oh, there for a second. Canadian destroyer setting him up. Oh no, a jig and tonic here slides through right into a Sammy up. Can he lick the hands? Can he lick the hands? Let's keep Can an eye into a pin. Sammy just slides that shoulder out. Able yeah. to slide that left shoulder up, maybe desperation, maybe just trying to get some uh, pressure off that arm to get that shoulder up. Yeah, the, the pin from MJF was difficult to see from here. It was hard to tell if... I think God, that left shot. shoulder was up and down. That's why the referee was not counting. Yeah, hard hard uh, position for the referee to, to see the shoulders. That's a difficult pin. Oh, God, he spit. spit. Right in the face. That is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, it's oh, on his Luke, oh, oh, the chest. The oh, throw up. A bit of a matrix. On 
to his feet. Bicycle kick to the jaw. Elbow. Another bicycle kick. Another elbow. These men are just training shots. Both men down, both men exhausted, exasperated, nothing left in the tank whatsoever. The first man to his feet may very well win this match. How could you use every single bit of energy to come off the road, bicycle kick, come off the road, elbow. Here we go, one, Hover. two, and he... He's got that left arm, he's got that left arm, he's got that left arm. Can Sammy get out? And he caps, it was just not enough. Sammy used everything he had. Let go of him!